Unemployed young people from Anglesey start work in the kitchen of a new restaurant today, a year after being selected for a chef's academy. The trainees all gained experience and qualifications in catering before being given 12-month contracts to work at a seafood restaurant in Rosnega on the island. Matthew Richards is there. Matthew. Thanks very much, Jenny. Well, the uh, chef cadets are just coming to the end of a very busy lunch service here at the Oyster Kasha restaurant. They all find it difficult to get jobs here on the island, so this has been a, a real lifesaver for them. Tom Rust is one of those cadets. Uh, Tom, how's it been going? What have you got out of this course? Uh, we've got a lot out of this course, you know, skills, uh, support from the Thameslands, and, you know, we've made a lot of friends as well. And uh, what's been the, the challenging part? Uh, it's, it's all been quite challenging, you know, just sort of you know, getting into a regular routine even, and, uh, you know, some of the skills are quite, quite difficult to master. All right, well, we'll let you get back on with the, the rest of the service. And let's speak to uh, John Timpson of the Timpson Foundation, which has been behind this scheme. Uh, John, tell me, what did you want to do with this scheme? We didn't actually know originally what we were going to do with what was called the Maylock is now the Oyster Catcher. But when my son James actually spotted what Jamie Oliver had done with his 15 restaurant, and frankly, we copied the idea, but we've always been interested in young people, saw that this was a way we could combine a new restaurant with doing something really special for young people on Anglesey. But that's how it all started. And ultimately, they, they get jobs, but there's more than that for them as well, isn't there? I, I, think, I think more than the job. What we're after is creating a career. And so we set them off. There's one year in training before they actually come into the kitchen, another year serving customers. After that, they're sort of on their own. Some might continue working for us. I hope others will go to great things. Maybe, who knows, London, Paris, they'll be cooking for the French. That'd be great, wouldn't it? But really, they, what I've seen so far, I've seen an enormous change in the first 12 months with this team. And I expect the same thing to happen again. And as a result, they will be able to hold their heads and get a really good job. Terrific. Thank you very much, John. Well, I can vouch for lunch very, very nice indeed. Thanks, Matthew, thank you. Well, we'll